Okay, good morning everyone. I hope everyone can hear me. Uh, it's actually very nice to see so many uh, both familiar and unfamiliar faces here. So this year we have a pretty small room, but it's, it's, I think it's always, in our experience of a conference, it's always better to have a smaller room because people can just hear each other, we can talk, we can have a nice discussion. So it's, it's, it's really nice to, to see people. So I think we have pretty interesting program. Uh, I will only cover some program highlights for today, tomorrow we can, we can discuss the tomorrow program. So there is one change. There's one change in the program for the uh, last talk today, which is at 3 o'clock. Um, the talk is going to be virtual because the person unfortunately couldn't travel at the last moment, but she's going to join uh, for Q&A, for live Q&A, so you will be able to have, uh, you know, you ask questions and we can have a discussion based on the talk. So I think that's the only difference in the program compared to what uh, originally was stated. And um, they're going to have a lunch break around uh, 12.40. We actually have um, we, we have enough time, so if if speakers run a bit out of overtime or stuff, we we can, we can move. But around 12:40, we're gonna have lunch. Lunch is on our own as usual, and then in the afternoon, we also have planned as usual the time for any both of Hackfest session, which people might want to have. Uh, please, if you have a proposal, just write it down and be uh, bored at any time during the breaks. Uh, this room can be used for it, so it, it's, it's, it's going to be um, free for that. And one more thing I want to highlight from tomorrow's program is that we're going to have a landlord uh, workshop given by Michael. And, and uh, you have hopefully received the uh, instructions for preparation, and if not, contact me or Jennifer we can, or Michael directly, we can, we can send it again because you would need to install some things and things to make sure you can start right away. So I highly recommend the uh, workshop. And uh, let's see what else from practicalities. Uh, James mentioned that he has the Linux Security Summit stickers, but unfortunately not with him here. So if you want to get one, maybe you can, uh, you can contact him on, and, 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 and we can try to mail it to you. And then we also have our social media account and, uh, there. You can see it's, I'm um, gonna, gonna try to spell it out fully, but uh, if you want to follow, uh, you, you can find it there. And, and, to, um, and to finish, some, some also some logistics for speakers and also for people who ask questions, uh, because we have also some people who are, are attending virtual so please either ask the speaker to repeat your question, and speakers also can repeat your questions, or we're going to be passing the mic to ask. Otherwise, you know, if you just ask in the room, the room will hear, but the online it will not. And um, Jennifer would be very kind to show the timings for speakers. So again, we are not super strict. So if it's, uh, you know, as soon as you don't run half an hour over time. And, and the talks are going to be recorded and posted uh, in open about two weeks or so after the conference. So. So just uh, just be aware. So with that, I think we can move uh, to our first uh, first talk, and it's going to be by, given uh, by Alexei, and it's going to be on the BPF and its intricate relation from uh, the security.